He wanted me to warn you. Look upon this omen and go back from whence ye came. I <laughs> another episode of Saturday Night Horror. Now tonight, being the month of October, we decided this month is going to be dedicated to Friday the 13th, and we'll continue our look at the Friday the 13th franchise tonight. Tonight, we're watching Friday the 13th, Part 3. Now, we watched Part 2 last week, Part 2 tonight, or Part 3 tonight, excuse me. <laughs> now, Part 3 takes place immediately after the events of Part 2, and there's a lot of things different. First of all, Jason looks nothing like he did in part two, even though this is supposed to take place immediately after that. And we'll talk about that later on in the video. Uh, this is also the first one that they shot in 3D. If I'm not mistaken, it's the only one they shot in 3D. I could be wrong about that. And the 3D kind of has these comedic moments to it if you're watching it in 2D. And I'll explain that later in the video. Um, <laughs> it's really funny, some of the things that come up with that. And. This is also the first movie where Jason puts on the hockey mask. You know, in part two we had the burlap sack, potato sack. Uh, this one he actually dons the iconic hockey mask that we all know him for. The hockey mask that is famous in the horror universe. So this is the first time he puts it on. So it's iconic for that as well. Another thing this one has going for it is there's not only just a group of teenagers at Crystal Lake being hunted down by Jason. The teenagers, uh, for a little while anyway, have to compete with another group of people kind of have to deal with them and contend with them as well on top of Jason so I thought that was pretty interesting and we'll talk about that later on in the video as well so as for cooking tonight uh, we're not gonna cook anything we're just gonna watch the movie and enjoy ourselves so with that being said let's head out to the living room let's turn off all the lights let's watch Friday the 13th part 3 alright everyone here we are with Friday the 13th part 3 we just need to turn this last light in the house off all right, all the lights in the house are off. Halloween decorations are lit up. It's time to watch Friday the 13th. Yes, sir. This is going to be a fun night, man. And once again, you see we have our skull out here. That thing is so freaking cool. <laughs> all right, everyone, let's watch the movie, and we'll talk about it when it's over. All right, everyone, the movie's over. Friday, Friday the 13th Part 3 is done. And it was fun. It was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. Like I said, this is the first time we get to see Jason wear his hockey mask that he's known for, so that was pretty cool. Uh, funny thing about the hockey mask is the original mask that they used, I think it was too short on the actor's face, so they had to kind of uh, <laughs> kind of had to do some uh, modifications on it, make it longer. They painted the chevrons on top, drilled some holes in it, kind of try to make it look different and unique. And what can I say? It worked, man. <laughs> Now, at the beginning of this video, I was telling you how Jason looks completely different than he did in Part 2, even though this is supposed to take place immediately after Part 2. In Part 2, Jason is what I call Hillbilly Jason. He's got a full head of hair, he's got the goatee, he's got the uh, or his mustache, excuse me. He just looks like a hillbilly, a uh, disfigured hillbilly. In Part 3, immediately after, his hair is gone, he's completely bald, the facial hair is gone, and he's what I call mongoloid Jason. He's just really disfigured. His face is elongated. So, like I said, it's kind of weird that it takes place immediately after part two, but it's a totally different look. Um, I never found, really found an explanation for that. I've looked it up, couldn't find it, so that was weird. And uh, yeah, so definitely uh, first we see a mongoloid Jason, really ugly individual. <laughs> Well, yeah, in this one, Jason actually, he kind of jogs and runs. Um, later movies, he doesn't really do that, so he's still kind of moving fast. He hasn't become the zombie-like Jason, the supernatural Jason we're used to in the later movies. He still kind of has, um, I guess, human qualities to him. I don't want to, I mean, I guess human would be the best word. You know, he jogs, he runs, he even grunts in pain and shows fear in this movie. Just like he did in part two. So, not quite the supernatural, unstoppable killer we know him for yet. 
Uh, that's later on in part six. And I don't think we'll be covering that this month. We'll see. But yeah, um, also it was filmed in 3D. And if you watch it in 2D, they still have the 3D scenes that are you're meant to watch through the glasses. And some of them are hilarious. Um, there's one where Jason squeezes a guy's head and his eyeball pops out. Now it's supposed to be in 3D with his eye coming right at you, but if you watch it in 2D, you can see the eye coming out and then the spring attached to the eye. So you can see the, pole, the whole prop just springing out. It's hilarious. <laughs> And on a side note, it, uh, this Blu-ray did come with the 3D glasses. I didn't think they worked. I watched it in 2D, started up 3D, put the glasses on, and it works. So I'm going to have to go back to watch it in 3D. But yeah, Friday the 13th, Part 3. Uh, we got another group of teenagers heading down to Higgins Haven by Crystal Lake, staying in a beautiful house, and it's got a little barn, or a big barn, attached to it. Unfortunately for these kids, Jason is in that barn. Now, I don't know if he's just staying there until he heals from his injuries in part two or if he's decided that's where he's going to take up residence for a while, but they have no clue what's lurking in the barn, and by the time they find out, as always, it's too late. And the thing I liked about this movie is not only did they have to contend with Jason, but for a little while they had to contend with three other people. They were a bike, uh, I don't want to call them a gang, it was only three people, but they were bikers that were out causing trouble. They come to the house in the barn and start causing trouble. Uh, Jason dispatches of all of them before they really get into conflict with our main crew of characters. I thought it would be I thought it would be interesting to have the bikers and the group of teenagers all realize what was going on in the barn that Jason was there, and just have all of them work together to try to stop them. But Jason got to the bikers first and nixed that idea. <laughs> Another thing I found interesting about Part Three is what we got in Part Three was not the original idea for it. The original idea was they wanted to take the survivor of part two, Jenny, and have her come back for like one final showdown with Jason. They want her to go have to go off to college, uh, learn self-defense, and when she finds the other survivors, Paul, she finds his body in her dorm room, she goes out to Camp Crystal Lake for a final confrontation with Jason. That was supposed to be the original part three, but the actress who played Jenny didn't want to come back, so we got what we got, and I think it worked out. We got the hockey mask. We got the beginnings of an extremely disfigured Jason. I think it worked out great. Um, the cast of characters wasn't the most likable. Uh, the final girl, I mean, yeah, I'm glad she survived, but they had another guy that I guess he was supposed to be a sympathetic character named Shelly. He was kind of a loser and he would play pranks on people, just try to be cool, try to fit in. And I guess we were supposed to feel sympathy for him. I didn't. I thought it was irritating. I couldn't wait for Jason to find him and kill him. And when he finally did, I was happy. I mean, I felt no emotion towards Shelly dying. And I don't know if that was their intention or not. To me, it seemed like they wanted him to be a sympathetic character, but I was just glad he died. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, not the most likable cast of characters in this movie. You really... When he starts killing them off, you don't really feel sorry for any of them at all. You're just like, oh man, you got it bad. Uh, the kills were uh, pretty straightforward, except for one. Had to be my favorite kill of the movie. This guy is walking, doing a handstand. He's walking on his hands with his legs in the air. And Jason <laughs> Jason cuts him from the balls down with a machete. So that was definitely my favorite kill. Um, hell of a way to go out, but like I said, I didn't really feel sympathy for him. But all in all, I enjoyed Friday the 13th Part 3. It's, uh, like I said, one, another rare look at what Jason was starting out as compared to as what he becomes. This is the one where we really see him starting to get, uh, like I said, the disfigured face. This is where he really starts to become the Jason we know. Uh, like I said, not quite superhuman, not quite supernatural, but he's getting there. It's It's got the beginnings of it. As you see, uh, he takes a lot of abuse at the end of the movie. He They hang him from the top of the bar and he gets out of that. He gets axed through the head and he keeps walking for a little while anyway, then collapses. So we get a look at that. Now, we weren't supposed to. This was actually supposed to be the last movie in the Friday the 13th franchise. They, were, they wanted to do it a tri uh, trilogy. They were originally supposed to do Friday the 13th movies based on different stories, but with the popularity of the first one, they brought in part two with Jason. And part three was supposed to be the end of that trilogy. Uh, once again, it was so popular, they decided to make part four, and we'll be doing that next week, and we'll talk about that next week. So yeah, definitely was supposed to be the last one, as we all know, that never works out. 
So yeah, Friday the 13th Part 3 was awesome. It's fun. The soundtrack is <laughs> amazing. And you'll hear some of it at the end of the video if they don't mute it or block it. Hopefully they'll be alright with it. But yeah, that's it everyone. Uh, with that being said, we're going to wrap this up. Really don't have anything else to say about Friday the 13th Part 3. It was fun. It was awesome. Definitely recommend it. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm sure you will too. Like I said, it's always fun to see what Jason was compared to what he became. So we kind of, uh, like I said, this is the first movie I feel like where we see the evolution of that starting to build up. Where we see Jason starting to become the unstoppable killing force that he is in later movies. So alright everyone, with that being said, we're going to end this like we always do. We're going to have our musical piece. Um, we already said we're going to do part four next week. And that's going to do it guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Apparently that helps the channel grow. Um, I don't know how that stuff works, but apparently if you give it a thumbs up, it uh, shares the channel with more viewers, helps the channel grow. So, appreciate it. Alright everyone, that's going to do it. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Hope you have an awesome week. And until next time, y'all take care.